What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Zay. In today's video, we are going to be working with Mike and Josh. As you guys can see, I am currently driving. I'm heading to Mike's shop right now. We are gonna be working on installing a new thing that's gonna help Mike with vinyl wrapping and help him get the job done well better. Um, as you guys can see, the Cabrio is back up and running. So if you guys did watch that series, I duly, duly, truly, duly, truly appreciate it. Um, we also, in today's video, are gonna be answering some of your guys' questions. I did a questionnaire on Instagram and give you guys a little bit of feedback. So today's gonna to be an awesome video. Go ahead and stay tuned. So Josh did beat us here, but before we go any farther in the video, huge shout out to Vader Mob and the guys at Vader Mob. This is the broke but not broken long sleeve tee or long comfy tee, something specific, but huge shout out to Vaded and the Vaded guys. I do appreciate you, but let's go inside and see what the guys are doing. So, I don't know where the guys are at. Josh is here, like I said, Josh beat us, but the door's locked and the garage is closed, so I'm guessing that means they're out and about, but also, this is vulgar, so I ain't gonna, you really can't even see it, but huge shout out to Center Gang. Center Gang, I appreciate you as well. The F your opinion, air freshener. So the first question for the whole vlog from, I'm not gonna list anyone's names because I didn't ask for their permission, but the first question was, am I ever going to sell the BRZ? Well, it's an FRS, Scion FRS, and no. Um, I feel like the FRS has, yes, it's fully built, but I still believe that there's enough to change on the 86 itself that it's willing to give me so much content for this channel. So overall answer for that one, no, I will not be selling the FRS anytime soon. I've been offered multiple prices, uh, multiple situations of, well, I like, accept trades or anything like that. So unless it's something crazy that I've ever been dreaming for, always been dreaming for, um, no, I will not sell the FRS. I'm gonna call Josh because I don't have air conditioner, it's hotter than hell. Hotter than heck. Boy! What's the good of having a phone if you're you not going to use it? reached the voicemail box of five zero. Well, we're just going to wait. And I'm roasting like a bacon cheeser. About time we showed up. About time we showed up. Be there at 6. Oh, get there at 520. <laughs> Is there someone following us? Why did you drive the FRS? You being a bitch or what? Uh, no, because my daily is actually working. Ooh. My Ooh. Are these them? Quick Jacks. Actually, it does see the sun. It's the color of the sun. What's in the bag? Shit yellow. Wow. Shit yellow is in the bag? I there's your car. <laughs> there's your car. <laughs> What's in the bag? Frosted Flakes? <laughs> What's in the fucking box? Frosted Flakes! Uh, okay. I ain't gonna say the rest. I ain't gonna say the rest I have respect. Where's Mike at? Yeah, fill in the blank in the comment section. No, they're on TikTok nowadays. Where did Mike go? Ooh. Oh, there he is. I'm taking a, taking a, <laughs> taking a sit in these chairs. He was like, just ignore him and I couldn't keep the straight face fucking best. Oh, what a, what a jerk. <laughs> I was like, I like that chair though. Those are nice. I didn't go in there, but those are super nice. When are you in? <laughs> when am I moving in? Well, uh, well, well, we'll just let the vlogs continue and they'll, they'll figure it out slowly but surely. So what's, what's the plan here? Let's just fix, install it, and we'll lift you up, see if it works. So we can't, unless we take it next door, we can fill the car in. Unless we I take them next door? I don't have an air presser. We need to fill uh, a scanister with like 50 PSI. Oh, snap. So, but we can throw it all together, and it should be able to run up and down. Oh, cool. So basically what we'll do is just put them together, but leave out the compressor part. 
All right, that works. So like I said, we got Josh and Mike in the background. Um, in today's video earlier, I said we're gonna be helping with him, something that's beneficial. We're gonna be installing quick jacks, or not installing, but building quick jacks for you guys. What it is, it's essential. It's a jack that goes into the car. Is it button operated? Is it button operated? Yes. Oh, snap, that's sick. That's hydraulic and then it goes to one ton outlet. Oh, so you snap. have your up and down. Up and down. And it's got two positions that you can set it at. That's that's gonna be hard to know the controls. <laughs> okay, we'll give it a test. Nope. Okay, cool. So what these quick jacks are gonna do, they're gonna help Mike with wrapping the cars and anything that's beneficial to him. What it does is instead of kind of being down on the floor, laying on the floor, or being on the floor and pulling the bumper up, it's gonna help him up help him out because the car is gonna be in the air. So also if he has to leave a car for a couple of days or at a week's time, he could take the wheels off if someone needs them powder coated and he can have the car still here in the air where he can work on it and the wheels can be off. So it's very beneficial and let's see how far we can get today. Mm -hmm. I know some of these words. Mm -hmm. this is oh, so one question was, I don't know if you saw it earlier, was what does NM Grizzly stand for? Are you gonna tell the story? I'll probably tell the story. Tell the story, because someone asked me what does NM Grizzly stand for? <sighs> <laughs> Sits down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back in 1892. Back in now. Back in now. <laughs> So the cli on. climax is so high right now. Hold on. When I first got an Instagram, I had no idea what my Instagram name should be <laughs> at all. All right. My friends in like high school and all that during football and like just friends in general, if I gave you a hug or whatever, like, oh, it's like being hugged by like a big bear. So, <laughs> someone suggested that my Instagram name be NM Big Bear. I don't know anything at this point. <laughs> okay, yeah, Big Bear. So, what does Josh do? Makes his Instagram name that. Then, gets in the cars, starts meeting people, talking to people, all that kind of stuff. Well, there's this guy that I talked to because I was doing wide body and he had just done wide body on his car. I was asking the questions and out of the blue, you know, he became a good friend of mine. He asked me, he's like, hey man, like, can I ask you a question without you like getting upset or anything? I'm like, yeah man, go for it. He goes, are you gay? I'm like, I'm like, no man, like, not at all, like, I'm straight. Oh, okay. Hold on, before we continue this video, to any of the one that watches, we do not discriminate. This channel is everyone friendly. Yeah, go ahead and continue. There. Okay, <laughs> before we go any farther, and they switch or demonetized. So I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not gay, man. He's like, oh, because I'm, you know, I'm bi. And, you know, I just think you're a really good looking guy. Like, just wondering. I'm like, that's cool, man. Like, you and I have become good friends. Like, that's, that's you. You know, I get it. Um, that's fine. He's like, so you're not mad? Like, we can still be friends? I'm like, yeah, for sure. I'm like, but, like, what gave you that impression? He's like, well, Big Bear. Like, that's something they call, like, big, hairy gay guys. Like, that's their nickname. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, maybe you should change it. So, uh, Type of bear, grizzly bear, and then grizzly, and it just took the name of whatever car I had at the time. So it took us. So it took us. Don't 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 read into it. So three minutes of a story just to find out. Josh lives in New Mexico. He looks like a bear. Deep story. It was deep. I I felt I felt felt deeply touched. Good. That's good. So go ahead and explain what you're doing, Josh, to the line. Hold on, I'm looking at things. Wow. I know where I'll be sunbathing. Okay, like I said, go ahead and explain what you're doing. So if any of you don't know what this is, it's plumber's tape. You use it for thread, pretty much. Anything that's gonna be air or water, and it helps prevent any leaks. So the instructions say to cut off six inches and wrap it around at least three times. 
Well, that's what I'm doing. So what this tape is gonna do, before he puts the female connector on, tape is preventing the leak of any air, so when so it- Making a seal. Yeah, exactly, practically making a seal air and tight. air tight. And with the quick jacks, uh, we're probably gonna name this quick jack install or something of that sort. So this video is informational to anyone that does buy the quick jacks or has any questions about it. But as of right now, we are working on two, four lines, but two of them are done so far. And then like we have here, we're gonna put the plumber's tape, oh, plumber's tape to this seal right here, and then you have the female connector right on top. Step before, this plumber's tape, and then the female connector, you just gonna take the female connector, and then go ahead and spin that on there. I mean, before I met you, I didn't know what I meant. I just, I figured you looked like a bear with a beard, because that's when you were posting, when you were at Slime Enough with Pierre and your dad, you had a huge beard then, so I was like, one plus one equals two. Boom, one and two. You got some oil in there? So right now what Mike is doing is he took off the, I don't know what you say, safety caps? Plugs. Yeah, plug. safety plug. And he got the existing oil from in there and put it on the new, what is that, like a gasket? O-ring. Bunghole. Bunghole. Bunghole O-ring. And from the research that we did, um, if you have it L-shaped, you should have it facing, I don't know, what would you say, 10 o'clock? And then just go ahead and spin that in because you're gonna want the lines to go out that way. Right there. You can do it. Please don't let it go. Oh, I got you. Hey. It takes two men. So I will explain it once we're done oh. here. Right there. Right there? Yep, because he wants the line to lay out that way. Boom! Move your toe. Go ahead. Boom! So quick explanation for you guys. Um, If you guys do come across this little fork in the road, me and Josh lifted it up with nothing connected, and one, I held one side, he held the other. We broke the nut and then threaded it in at 10 o'clock, and it worked out fine. You're gonna want the valve, I guess you could say, running through here because you're gonna have it run under and you're gonna connect it to your compressor and it should work out perfectly because of course if you do it on top everyone knows it's just gonna pinch the line so so right now mike and josh are putting the elbow fitting into the compressor and what the male connector will do is gonna connect to the female short lines that we have over there and then it should run perfectly and we i did the looking it is not a valve it's actually a elbow Grease. Hydraulic fitting. That's that's the correct terminology. Three men, one bolt. So with putting these male connectors on into your compressor, I would we would always recommend putting the bottom one on first because if you put the top one on and tighten it, to tighten the bottom one it might be a challenge. So just easier said than done. Put the bottom one and then go ahead and do the top one. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna need my knuckles. <laughs> Why did Mike stop rapping for a while? Well, uh, you see, we were installing this quick jacks and then done deal. Then run it under. And then it's gonna connect one plus one equals two. Oh, or one and a half. <laughs> Go ahead and give it the. Just, it the just go in. There you go. Just go in. Just go in. Straight in. I can't get it in. Squeeze it. Boom! And we're good to go. All the way through. Almost. Oh, so got to tighten that and then connect it. Then we're good to go. Well, we were going to show you guys how to release it, but. but My hands are lubed. Oh, wow. Wait, wait. Right up. Oh, look, 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 look. For the viewers, there's a lock. Wow. See that? Line it up. Line up the this holes. Lock. This lock right here. Line up the holes. <laughs> Boom! And that's how you unrelease your lines. Now lock for safety. <laughs> oh. Give it the next. Oh. oh my goodness. <laughs> Boom! And just like that, go ahead and tighten it all the way through. 
and our right side is done. <gasps> I killed a man with this thumb. <laughs> Why'd you heat it up, Josh? Explain it to the viewers. Um, so basically this one was torqued down um, a lot from the manufacturer and it's not coming loose, so the heat will come up that uh, come loose. So right now Josh is taking off this bolt. We're gonna be putting oil in here. The oil that we are using is CBT oil. Where'd you guys go? O'Reilly's or AutoZone? AutoZone. AutoZone? Oh, we went to Vato's on for CBT oil, but the cap's now off, and we're gonna go ahead and put oil in there. So it did say in the instructions, or just the research you did? Um, in the instructions, it says it takes about 2.1 quarts. Um, it said to fill it until it's about half inch from the top. Oh, perfect. And then the funnel we have doesn't fit, so Josh is, Josh is being a helping hand. Had a boy. Two hands. Two hands, two helping hands. Gentle, doctor. Gentle. Don Deal. Got around. some room. It looks like a half inch. Yeah, that's pretty good. Give her a go. All right. Is it going? They are loose, so. Oh. So this side wasn't loose enough, so it didn't bleed properly, but this side is correctly done. As you guys can see, the jack is going up. So this one should fill up, this one should be fine, and then it's gonna move to this side, and then our jack should be ready. Hit it, Fergie. Hold on. Oh, my bad, full on the hydros. Boom. So once it pops over this, oh, now you can it let it back down. Watch. So now if you let it down, it'll be locked. If you got a low car um, that you need a little bit of clearance, like say your car, if this could fit under it, yeah, um, we use the low block. If you want a little more height out of it, oh, I see. I'm pretty sure you can stack what it says and still be safe. So if you want a little that seems a little sketchy, it. but I mean, <laughs> I think with a car with a thicker like, thicker frame, where yeah. it'll, it would be fine. Oh, okay. Like a thin, just pinch well. Yeah, probably not. Now you can go down. Go ahead and go back. So now you're okay. Locked. Now it's locked. So if he wants to lower it, then you need to go up. So go up, and then this will. Oh, okay. And now this will kind of bounce over them. Oh, okay. Like a. I see what you're saying. Will it do it itself? It needs to flip over. Oh, yeah, like that. So now, yeah, it'll just ride and pop over this. Oh, okay. Position. So without having that down, it's just going to catch on those oh, again. Oh, as another setting. So, oh, okay. And as there's weight on it, it'll it'll drop faster than this. We're obviously just running. The slow roll. So it'll pop over that checkpoint. There's no. There's nothing to this. Oh, just, okay. The weight will do something to that. Yeah, oh, so okay. Cool. If there's weight on it, it'll drop more. All right, guys, so Mike is tightening up some bolts and stuff like that, making sure that oil is not leaking. But we are practically almost done with this. All we need to do is add some air with a compressor. We do not have a compressor in here, but this quick jacks does take 50 pounds of PSI, so we're just gonna wait on that. But another question that was asked was by a Younger, younger viewer, subscriber, follower, whatever you want to say. Shout out to Rockstar. Shout out to Rockstar. I'm a monster guy, but Josh is a rock. 
Josh is a rock star guy, so shout out to Monster and Rockstar. We're a fan of all of them. If we ever get a fridge in here, we'll make sure to have those stocked. But, like I was saying, the younger guy that asked me if he could take my car to homecoming, no, you can't take my car to homecoming. You can build your car and then take your car to homecoming. If you have questions, feel free to message me, Mike, or Josh. But, unfortunately, you cannot take my car to homecoming. don't know what happens at homecoming. Oh my god. There are speed bumps. Right, that's what happens. Going inside the school with the speed bumps and the car's too low. Whatever y'all were thinking, y'all got dirty minds. It's not what we were talking about. <laughs> Alright, so moving to the next question. Um, this is a Mike question. I'm gonna wait. Mike told me to wait on this one. Um, what are the plans for this channel? Um, eventually, if we ever buy a new car, any of us work on that car, but it's mostly about gaining knowledge around cars and building cars, meeting new people, and moving forward, and seeing how far the channel can get us. What's your issue? What's his issue? Oh, he's vaping? Oh. What's your subscriber goal? One subscriber goal is, within one year of doing YouTube, at least a thousand subs. I definitely think we, we could get more we're almost at 400, we're not even three months in. So, I think we're doing good at that one. It is an achievable goal. You gotta make it reasonable and just work hard for something. Yeah, see that? You're blowing white smoke in a white wall. <laughs> All right. Anywho, what flavor are you hitting right now? Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road. NM Grizzly. Everything adds up there. Okay, the next question is nobody likes yellow. That's not a question, that's a comment. And I was actually inspired to do the yellow, not only from Josh. Josh was supposed to do that color, he never ended up doing it. But huge shout out to the homie Dilly Dell in Arizona. He ran it, what, three or four years back? A while back. Four A while back, four years ago, and that's kind of what started the inspiration. But I truly like the color, but sorry that it doesn't meet your standards, which I really don't care. Um, let's see. Am I bagged or static? Uh, pause the video, comment down below what you think I am, and we're gonna see what it is. Okay, you all paused it. I'm actually static. Uh, huge shout out to Josh for teaching me how to work with coilovers and stuff like that. But I am on BC coilovers. When you get BC coilovers, the OEM or the fixed spring rate that they come in when you get them is 18k But I up them to 50k and then 45k in the front for just stiffer ride All right, so here's the biggest question that everyone has for Mike does reviver apps take sponsorships All right. <laughs> Look at him look how he set up for it. He's all I'm gonna pose. I'm gonna get down to business uh, So I get this question a lot um, A lot of people don't understand what sponsorship is in the first place so a lot of people think it's just getting hooked up and just getting something for free but um, when it comes to a sponsorship it's more of a relationship between you and that company so whether it's um, wheels or exhaust or wrap or whatever um, you have you need to have something to offer that company so whether it's um, say they has got 10,000 followers um, that and maybe YouTube channel and all that where they can bring you business or they can bring something to you um, because basically for me to buy vinyl and um, give up my time to do a wrap it's basically an investment in you so I need a return on my investment basically so when you do reach out to companies and ask for a sponsorship they're gonna ask how many followers you have they're gonna ask for all that um, if it is a local company it might not even be followers but if you're active in the car community and you're that guy that goes to the meets every weekend and talks to um, just basically everybody and knows everybody has a cool build and that might be a good thing for say me if you're active and you can spread the word about my company then that might be something to consider and then the other thing is is a full sponsorship or partial sponsorship i'm probably more likely to give a partial sponsorship and maybe discount the time but paying for full vinyl and the time out of pocket is a little much um, it would definitely take the right person but um, say like josh for instance um, in 2015, I was wrapping out of my garage, and he was a neighbor, and uh, we ended up becoming friends. 
and I did a wrap for him. I didn't do it for free, I charged him, but um, his car getting out there definitely brought like a lot of customers to me because he knew a lot of people in the car community. He went out to the meets and everything like that. So he helped my business tremendously, tremendously in the beginning. So having someone like that is always good. It's not always about followers, but um, that's definitely what most companies look for. Boom, the words from Revive Raps. There isn't a way to end a vlog better than a sunset, a beautiful car, and a piece of crap. So huge shout out to Mike for letting me document this and huge shout out to Josh for helping out. Um, but also huge shout out to Showtime. They are a local automotive, automotive detailing company here in Albuquerque. So huge shout out to them. They helped air up the quick jacks and that was the final thing we needed. But if you guys did find this video helpful in any way, shape or form, leave a comment down below. I do appreciate it. Also, we have big things coming up for this channel. If you guys haven't already, please press the subscribe button. We won't let you down. But as always, no matter how far you get in life, to always remain humble and always try to make a difference.